Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, today is Mooncake Festival and I do have a few of these um, containers around. These are the containers that the merchant use to um, put in their mooncakes. And this day, the packaging has become more and more fanciful. And this one example, this is made of metal. I assume it's tin or something. So I was thinking instead of uh, putting them into the recycle bin, why not upcycle it into a pinhole camera? So today uh, what I'm going to do is to convert this um, box, this tin box into a pinhole camera, right? So do come along with me as I do the conversion. So my initial plan was to drill a small hole of 0.3 mm on the top cover of this uh, metal box but end up I drill a much bigger hole so what I will do now is to use this little thin piece of brass and then I will punch a pin hole on it right so how do I punch it I will use this little needle and then um, just position it somewhere in the center and I will use a mallet to knock the hole so I'll use this mallet just to knock it through All right. I hope you can see there's a pin hole in it Alright, so the pinhole camera is more or less complete. I have this magnet as the shutter, right? So um, if I need to open the shutter, I will just shift it out from the pinhole and to close it, just shift it back. Right, so this is a very simple design and this is how it looks like inside. So I measure the pinhole size is about 0.3 mm and the focal length, that means from the lens to the back of the uh, case where the paper will be um, this is about uh, 50 mm okay so to calculate the aperture of our pinhole camera we have to use the formula aperture is equal to the focal length uh, divided by the diameter of the pinhole itself so the focal length as I have measured is about 50 mm and the pinhole is about 0.3 mm right so that will give us an aperture of about 166 right so we'll use aperture 166 to calculate our exposure and the red thing will be for the negative I will not use firm negative, I will use paper negative instead. The dimension of the box is about 4 inches by 4 inches. So what I intend to do is to cut a piece of photo paper about 5 by 4 inches and I will fold down the edges like what you've seen here. And I will just put it at the back of the case itself and let the tension of the um, length of the paper hold it in place. Right. Of course, all this will be done in a uh, dark room with the safe light on, and then I will use this lid to cover it. Right. All right. So the other thing that uh, we must do is to blacken the interior of the camera. This is to prevent the refraction. Huh? And if you don't do that, I think the um, negative will be overexposed quite easily. Right. So this is what I did. I you could spray paint it black. Or in my case, I just use some black PVC tape uh, to tape all over the surfaces, right? Okay, so this is how I usually calculate my pinhole exposure. So I will make use of this website, mrpinhole.com. I will click on the um, pinhole exposure guide link on the left side of the screen. Uh. So it will bring me to this page where I will need to enter the aperture of my pinhole. 
So my F sub is about 166 or 167 uh, if you round up the decimal point. So um, let me key 166. Uh. Right, and then click on the generate chart icon. So it will bring you to this page where a list of the um, certain speeds being generated. So how do we use this chart, right? So it give an explanation below. So what you need to do is to set your uh, light meter to the firm ISO, right? In this case, I'm using my photo paper. I will use ISO 12, right? Because based on my testing for fresh paper, I can actually use about 12. Uh, rather than the three that I usually use uh, for pinhole camera um, you are not so sure you can actually do some testing right uh, use ISO uh, 12 or 3 as a starting point and then see the result and then adjust from there once you did that you can use your meter to take a reading and then locate the line that your reading is on and then just uh, run across to the most right hand corner for your exposure time right and if you know your firm reciprocal failure you can actually add it in for the calculation so for example if i my light meter indicate that at f16 i should be exposing for half a second right so this is this row i just need to go to the rightmost column and it show that i will need to expose for 55 seconds right so that's about a minute right so once you take one photo you develop the photo and then see the result and then adjust from there uh, but um so for now i'm just going to use iso 12 and see how things go right thank you minutes later okay so I have my mini lab set up again so this is the same box I use inside my um, a scan box camera this is the developer Ufert multi grade paper developer and in this other box is the um, Uford Rapid Fixer, uh, both are one plus nine, and that is just a water bath. Huh? So again, I will process the paper. The paper is RC paper, so it will be soaked inside the developer for a minute, then fix for a minute, and then um, I just uh, soak it in water to wash it. Okay, so let's see how this will turn out. Eventually. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.